Hello, happy campers. I hope y'all are doing all well. Let me adjust the volume. Hopefully y'all can hear me just fine. Um, I haven't made a video in a while because I've been out of town. I just, I took a, um, a 10 day vacation to go visit my mom or with my mom. Her and I took a 10 day road trip and we traveled all through Texas to see family and friends. And then I came back. I was home for like three days and then I went to Jamaica for almost a week to go to a friend's wedding and it was very beautiful. Shout out to Amanda. Congratulations on your love and um, I wish you the best and I'm so glad that I could be a part of your day. Now that I'm home though, I um, it's weird because every time I come home, I uh, miss my camper so much. I love my little space. My little 300 square feet is so great. and. Um, but one thing I always notice is how my AC unit kind of is struggling a little bit. So now I'm to the point where I just have to turn it on or off. The temperature, it can't be on auto. It doesn't temperature. I think that the whole thermostat thing is broke. My AC unit is solid, and um, but it just keeps on the temperature thing. I don't know what it's doing. So anyways, right now it's working the way it is, and I'm just going to keep on going so I don't have to fix it because it's not broke and I just believe that if I keep saying that it's not broke then it's not broke and if it's cooling in the house and doing what I'm supposed to be doing then it's working and so I'll just work around it whatever it is and I'm glad that it's winter time because at night I can just open my windows and it's cold I wake up in the morning and I'm really cold I haven't turned the heat on yet because I just rather it be kind of cool and if when I start cooking breakfast or whatever, then it warms it up enough and it's just fine. So I haven't turned the heat on yet. And I don't know if I'll really need to. But that's one of the blessings is that um, it's still winter and it's so nice and mild here. Um, but it's duck hunting season and Tyra is really getting pissed every morning. She's woke up by these guns going off and it's scaring her. And she... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure she wishes that'll end soon, and I hope it does too. It can be much longer, maybe two or three weeks. I don't know how long hunting seasons last, but they're normally not that long. So there's that that she's doing that's going on. Stupid. And then my refrigerator still keeps freezing up, but as long as once a month I take everything out of the freezer and I blow dry the little air thing and it takes all the ice off and then it cools fine it does its thing so I'll just keep on working around that too because I'm not going to get a new fridge and I'm not going to you know I'm just going to keep making it work if it's working then it's working and I have no plans on leaving and um, so it doesn't really matter and even when I was on my road trip I, my mom was like oh you could have brought your RV and I was like no I don't want to move the RV. Moving the RV and setting up our RV is not fun. I don't think that that's something I want to do all the time. Um, I just like living in the RV and living here and may, and like living off less and all this. It's really been such a blessing because I haven't worked since August. August, September, October, November. So four months now. And I uh, need to be looking for a job. Yeah, I should start looking for a job soon and finding a job but um i've kind of had fun just living off of nothing you know no shopping no extra anything just uh bills food gas and crossfit can't not work out i had to do my crossfit so i pay for that but that's really it and um i'm able to stretch out a dollar away further than if i were paying 700 dollars a month for some apartment or whatever and um so things are really good so I'll start working um, in the next couple of weeks, I'm sure. I have some couple of projects that I'm working on. Um, there's this film that was shown in only limit some cities, and I'm trying to get it brought to Corpus Christi and maybe even San Antonio. It's called Execution, and it's about um, the day in the life of somebody who's going to be executed. So I'm working on work with the film director to try to get it brought to the city and I think it would be a real eye-opener for a lot of people who maybe not think about it, um, who don't think about the idea of it and what it is and I think it's just, you know, it's never not for or against, it's pretty um, even kill from what I understand, no pun intended, um, but it's 
I just think that it would be something good for some people to watch if they're interested or, you know, just to draw questions and to kind of think where they stand if they even know. Some people don't necessarily know or they think they know where they stand, but their mind can be easily changed on both sides. So, um, anyways, that's one of the projects that I'm working on, looking for a job, still doing my volunteering um, whenever I can. But like I said, the whole month of November I was out traveling, um, really enjoying my life before I have to get a job again because then it'll probably be a year before I get a real vacation. And on my vacation, I read two books that I highly recommend. One is by Deepak Chopra. They're both spiritual books because that's what I'm into. Um, one is called The Seven Laws of Spiritual Success by Deepak Chopra, and it was really, really good. I think what I'm going to do is it goes through and it talks about like giving, gratitude, um, you know, finding your purpose. Uh, intention like positive thinking and how you know your mind your thoughts can um, they basically create your reality and how to be more mindful of those things so I think I'm going to start taking each um, since it was seven days seven days in a week every day a different one and kind of focus on that so I can be make it more and more part of my daily life and then the other one is excuses be gone by Wayne Dyer which I'm in love with Wayne Dyer I love Wayne Dyer. <sighs> He's my hero. And um, and that one is really good too. Just about anything that you want to change, you want to do in your life, just there's no excuse for it because you're making up the excuse. You're putting the words out there. You're the one making it difficult. You can make it just as easy as you can make it just as difficult. So you just choose which one you want it to be, whether it's your addiction to sugar, like me, or if, um, you know, if it's because you want to work out, you want to eat healthy, you want to quit smoking, you want to quit gossiping, you want, um, you know, whatever it is, I don't know what you personally might be dealing with, but that was a really good book, too, and um, I'm going to move on to something else, and, um, but yeah, and the other idea that I, oh, some things for the RV, for my happy camper life, I thought about redoing my shelves. Um, they're like just plain, you know, I haven't painted them or anything. I'm thinking about maybe getting some stains out and doing some stenciling or something. Um, that, and then the other thing I thought about is, um, posting up something in the RV manager office. If people want to talk about their happy camper life and just like interview, maybe two or three minute interviews on people, um, who live in their campers. I thought that that would be kind of cool, and um, anybody else who wants to, you know, post videos on my Facebook page are more than welcome to do so. I hope that um, this would be a page for everyone to share their experiences. My other RV friends maybe aren't big Facebookers or something because they see my page, they're on it, but they don't ever talk about their happy camper experiences, and so you should do that. Y'all should all, you know post something on my Facebook page about whatever's going on in your camper if your AC broke or if um, you made some awesome chicken dish or you know if you want to you know complain about your bathroom situation that's probably my biggest complaint is the damn toilet I freaking hate having a toilet by my bed there's nothing I can do about it because it was like the toilet's gonna be there if you want a tub if you don't want a tub then you can have a shower but I wanted to have a tub the tub is really important to me so you know what I um, have decided that the toilet I'm not gonna complain about the toilet anymore I'm gonna be happy about my tub and I'm just going to be happy about the tub and forget about the toilet and then whenever I have guests I got a key to the facilities here and I'm just gonna tell people they have to keep the bathroom down there that's it that's just how it turned out to be so those are two things that I think I'm going to work on is I want to do shelf shelving in here to paint it something kind of pretty and um, that's really it I can't think of anything else that I really um, you know just that's kind of what's going on in my life and I hope that everybody else will post and show some love okay take care and be blessed